So I found a, a new Linux distro that looks quite good. Thought I'd take a look at it. It's Nabara, Nabara. Let's jump in and have a look. We're gonna run through the install. Here we go. So we've started up and it's gonna install. Let's go through it. Set up root, because we, uh, we like our root access. And let's begin the install. The reason I wanted to look at this is because reading through the, the project notes, a lot of the stuff that I've been trying to do is, is there. So the support for NVIDIA drivers, of course, most Linux distributions have that anyway. OBS Studio, DaVinci Resolve, and a ton of other stuff. RGB, <laughs> not that I really care about that. It's got Steam Deck support, Surface support, variable refresh rate patches, nice. Yeah, there's a Blender is included. OBS is included, Wine is included, Proton, Discord is included, Caden Live is included, Only Office, Cups. Yeah, there's a, a lot going on here. What I'll do is I'll fast forward this because installing software is going to take a while. See you in a minute. Okay, so here we are, it's uh, finished the install. Let's just get it finished. I was hoping it would reboot on its own, but I guess not, so we'll do that. It's a good start, it's actually booting. Why not? Skip all of those. Start using. So that's your typical uh, Fedora set up. Yes, please, we'll have that. While it's doing that, let's have a quick look around. Looks very much Windows 10 y, which I appreciate. Blender, Inkscape, yep, yep, yep. OBS Studio, Caden Live, VLC. I like this, this looks very good. So let's have a look. Let's find the Package Manager. I'm not gonna go into too much details on this, but so far, it's even picked the right, look at that, brilliant. It's picked the right, the right stuff. Yeah, let's do that now. So we're on the right graphics driver. Just log in. Mm. 
Nice. Okay, so. Pretty sure you did that already, but we'll do it again. It's fine, not a problem. Now. I'm assuming that these are coming straight from Fedora. Mind you, they're flat packs, so maybe they're not. I don't know. Let's um, just download DaVinci Resolve. That sounds lovely. Hey, how it does that. Anywho, so Chrome is now installed. That's what I'm liking. somewhere what menu it's put it in though you should have put it in there okay not too worried about that I can find that later quick reboot that'll be the graphics drivers hopefully at last didn't notice whether DaVinci Resolve would finish downloading <laughs> I'm a bit out of practice at this, having a week off. Thank you everyone for your well wishes, by the way, it's really appreciated. Right, there we go. So Google Chrome is there now. Right. Let it extract. Now, as far as I remember reading, it's just a matter of Minus I. Of course it's not. Should take a minute. So while we're doing that, let's Open Chrome. I like this. This might actually be better than Linux Mint, at least for a creator. So I've been teasing it for a while, and maybe it's so I've been teasing it for a while, and maybe it's now that I'll do this. Recording audio for these videos, I generally do on a Windows PC using That's not Adobe bad. Audition, 4K, a Go XLR. Right, so one other thing. Don't know if I need this, but we'll do it anyway. It does say that this is for AMD, but that's fine. Fine. Right. So let's see what we get with DaVinci Resolve. Yeah, I know why. Oh, it's going to work anyway. Now, even on Windows, this takes a while to open. So we'll give it a few minutes. Interesting. Okay. It is responding. Why are you saying it's not? And there we go. This might be worth trying for a week and seeing how we go. 
In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. I like it. I like it a lot. It's got a lot going for it. From, from what I can tell, this is made by a father and son team and uh, kudos to them. It's pretty, uh, pretty good. A completely independent project from Fedora and there are no Fedora developers or parties directly involved. We use Fedora packages, code and repositories. That's the extent of it. Nice. I'm really impressed, guys. Keep up the work. It's, it's really good. I'm going to keep trying to use this and see how we go. For now, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I'm going to revisit this in another video and see if we can actually edit a video on it. But for now, you know, click the like if you like it. Hit the subscribe button and uh, that bell icon. Get notifications of when I do new videos. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.